Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and open this box now. Um, I'm going to put the cards that we already have on top and then maybe do a recap in the end. I'm going to just show like the valuable cards, or in my opinion, the cards I think are valuable. And then go as fast as I can to make this video as... Because I'm sleepy. So, <laughs> I went to uh, two different pre-releases, I uh, had a lot of fun. Did very bad in one of them, totally scrubbed out on one of them. So I'm going to put the box right here, and we're going to go ahead. Fumer, Wandering Fumero, uh, Visions of Brutality, Iron's Blessing, and then we'll go really fast through the cards, like this. And I'll put any notable uncommons. So yeah, we have two of these now, which is pretty good, I would say. Definitely uh, one of the cards you want to see. Ancient Crab, Expedite, oops, Waste. So we're going to do a count of how many Waste we have. Press into Ruins of Oran Reef. Wow. So Oran Reef is now a colorless mana producer. Pretty uh, interesting. I do not believe that is worth very much. Mighty Leap, a very cool reprint for Limited. Definitely, um... Storm Chaser Mage, I know that's worth some money. Oh, Ally Reinforcement. This is like the worst pack you can get because you're down one Mythic. Sphinx of the Final Ward. So you were down a Mythic, and it cannot be countered. Flying, Hexproof, Instance, and Sorcery spells you control can't be countered by spells or abilities. 5-5, five, five, in my opinion, the worst mythic of in the entire set. So not the mythic you really want to see early on. Dread Defire and Vines of the Recluse. Uh, one, so, 6 in a black, devoid, free, colorless, exile, or creature card from your graveyard target opponent loses life equal to the exile. Creature car exile card's power, pretty good in my opinion. Thankfully, it's not a mythic. I would like to get Kozlak or Chandra. I think those are the two cards I would be just very happy to see. Reflector Mage. This card is talked about a lot. Whenever Reflector Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. That creature's owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until your next end turn. Very good card. Matter Reshaper number 2. So we might get a playset if we get lucky. And this is that's the rare that you want to see. I mean, I think that's the one that you want to see, right? Matter Reshaper. So I'm glad to get that. So that pack was actually very good. You're not going to make your money back on most packs. Like, I, you just won't because it's pack opening. If everyone could make their money back from their packs, then there would be no more packs to open. Ooh, a Drazi Dis... What is this? Displacer, <laughs> okay. So I have another one of these. I believe this card is valuable. Uh, two in a colorless, exile target creature, then return it to battlefield, tapped under its owner's control. And it's a big body, so it's a very good card in my opinion. I am happy to see my second one of those. I think it's the only white Adrazi ever, which makes sense, because Adrazi are not. Ooh, I did want this card, but I wanted it in foil. Ali, Eternal Pilgrim, very good card. One white, one black, two free death touch. That's already good enough, in my opinion. Uh, one, sacrifice another creature. You gain life equal to that sacrifice creature's toughness. One, a white, a black, sacrifice another creature. Exile target, non-land permanent. Activate this ability if you have at least 10 life or more from your starting total. That one is less relevant um, because of the starting total life. So I'm going to go faster. Uh, waste. Oh, second General Tazili. So we've been pretty much bonked by the Mythic so far. Yeah, it's not been great. The Mythics have not been great. But the... the re Ooh, and I, I said that and then we got the one Mythic. I forgot about Kozilak's Return. It looks like kind of dirty, but it's actually the card artwork. So this is uh, deals two damage to each creature. It will see modern play instant. Whenever you cast a draw spell or converted mana cost seven or greater, you may exile it 
from your graveyard. If you do, it deals five damage to each creature. By far the best card in the set, in my opinion. Uh, in terms of, will this card see play? Will it not see play? Who knows? Overwhelming Denial and uh, Foil Negate. Um, that's pretty good. So that is our second Overwhelming Denial. We are getting a lot of duplicates, uh, mainly because this is a small set. So if you buy a case of this, you are going to get a ton, a ton, oh, waste, a ton of duplicates. Vile Redeemer. So Flask, whenever it, you cast it, you may pay a colorless. If you do, put a 1-1 colorless Aldrazi token. So upside, I think this is a lot different from Battle for Zendikar because the... There's, there's uncommons that are worth money in this set. Ooh, he draw an alignment. And uh, Spark Mage's Gambit uh, deals one damage to each to two target creatures. Those cannot block. He draw an alignment. <laughs> I think it's like five cents right now. It's the Exodia card, but I like it. I love it. Let's see. Oath of Gideon. Always happy to see my Oath of Gideon number two. You do get a ton of oaths. This set is very, very small compared to Battle for Zendikar, so I'm seeing a ton of duplicates, and I really didn't open all that much yet. Inverter of Truth. Oh, wow, this is the crazy one. So how many Mythic? We got four Mythics. What? Is that right? Inverter of Truth, two double black, uh, devoid flying whenever it enters the battlefield. Exile all cards from your library face down. Then shuffle all cards from your graveyard into your library. Yeah, four mythic box, and we've only opened a tiny bit. Crazy, right? That, this is crazy. Devour and Flame, Dimensional Infantrator. Uh, I have that one. Silvian. Oh, cool. We have a rare, a foil rare. One in a green, uh, Vigilance, as long as you control six or more lands. It and land. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, uh, plus two, plus two. Two free elf ally and dimensional infantrator, which is a card that can bounce itself, but it has pretty good value. It's a 2 1 with flying flash. It's a 2 1 flyer, so that's already like not bad, and it has upside. Bearer of Silence. Oh, this is the sacrifice. This is the uh, Gatekeeper of Malachi card. One in a black, uh, if you pay one in a colorless, you sacrifice, target opponent sacrifices a creature. It is a 2-1 with Devoid and Flying. Oh, but I also cannot block. So I was like, wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, in my opinion. Ooh, love this card. That is the uh, game day foil, full art. I believe it's alternative art promo, so. Get yourself the game day because it's worth winning that one just for EDH, right? Deceiver of Forms. This is a very good card. Uh, so whenever it, at uh, the beginning of your combat, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, uh, reveal this way. You may have creatures you control other than Deceiver of Form become copies of that card until end of turn. That's kind of fun. A lot of these cards are more fun for EDH than Battle for Zendikar. I've I think this set, as a general set, minus the Expeditions, is just overall better. Fall of the Titans. This is an interesting card. So XX1 instant, it deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures or, or players. But if you surge it, it's only X1. So it's kind of like a bonfire. But bonfire only did so well because it dominated. Like, it dominated that meta. This card, I don't know. Could Ooh, this is the Rainbow Aldrazi, yes. Uh, so it's a Fredden Aldrazi. Not really much to say about that. There's one for each color, and even white has one of them, which I, I pulled one, obviously, here. Small set means you get a lot. Ooh, and you can get foil mount. Foil. So this there's a lot of value that's not tied up in... So Stoneforge Masterwork, uh, plus one, plus one for each other creature you control that shares a creature type of it. Love this card, actually. Uh, but you can get Foil Lands. This is the first one we got in a lot of packs. I don't know if it's more uncommon, but you can definitely get them. 
Dark not shit. <laughs> Whenever it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. Uh, you choose an online card from it and XL that card. When it leaves the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. So Vendillion Click it is not, but I, I mean I guess in standard it's kind of like Vendillion Click. It's because the power level was much less, but I don't see it being played all that much. Oh waste. Waste are not that common, guys. Seagate Records. Um, pretty good. You're not gonna want multiples of this card on. Library of Alexandria X. You don't really have much many lands that can draw you cards without like downfall. And that's one of them. Okay. <laughs> we almost have a playset of this. So the last the last batch have not been great, but we did get Coastal X return for Mythics. And Oath of Chandra number four. Maybe I know we have a bunch of these. So the oaths are extremely common as because again there there's five of them. Oh this card is very good. Did we just get double myth? No, that was from the other set. So five mythics in this box, including a Kojalox return, a matter reshaper, which is good. And then that white Aldrazi dude, who I think is valuable. Reality Smasher and Trample Haze, 5-5. Five, five. These guys are pretty big. Whenever Reality Smasher becomes a target of a spell or opponent controls, counter that spell unless its control discards a card. Hmm. I mean, a 5-5 five, five, Trample Haze for 5 is pretty okay. And then I view that as like upside. The last ability. Another waste. It's going to be hard to get. Oh, I guess you can get them from um, support six, right? Because <laughs> that's what you need to do. You can get waste from fat packs, but getting them from booster packs seems kind of difficult to do. Just, oh, well, I mean, we'll count how many we have. Reality Smaster. What? We just got one of these. Um, so you do get a lot of duplicates in a box. Wow, like lots of them. So maybe we can get another matter reshaper. Would be good. Oh, another waste. It's nice that they gave the waste. Call of the Gate Watch, which will, it will look up a Planeswalker. One of the most awful cards in Limited. In my opinion, of course. So we got five Mythics. And, oh. Another waste. What is this? Tar snare? Oh man, no good foils. Uh, enters the void. These guys, Adrazis are just really big for like a casting cost. Whenever another non-token creature controls, put a 1-1 Adrazi. Yeah, this card's not bad. You could play in that sacrifice deck would be really good. We have a few more packs left. Love this card. And Oath of Jace, got it. Ooh, and another Corrupted Crossroads. Um, we got there, we got all four Oaths. Nice. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, let's see, Brave Strength. Ooh, this one's very good. I think we have a place of these, and of course the Vanguard with Cohort, which, I, no, that was what I was playing. I was wondering. I made an ally deck and I went 0 and 2. And then I made another ally deck and I went 0 and, like 1 and 2. Then I went I won my first one and then I lost my other ones. Devoured Flames, Goblin Dark D Dweller, one of my the most fun cards. Two packs left and then we'll recap this particular box. I would say it's not bad. The Mythics could have been better. But overall, I Reflective Mage is very good. Hissing Quagmire, obviously a card I will always take. And six Mythics, maybe. No foil. Believe that's it. Oh, another waste. Ooh, a Drowsy Mimic. So pretty good for that. I don't know for what deck, but overall, I was pretty happy with this fat pack or this booster box. 
Uh, I was pretty happy with my fat packs too, uh, in general. Uh, so we, okay, that kind of sucks. I'll show the cards that I believe have value. I think this card is valuable. I'm not positive. Uh, Matter Reshaper is definitely a valuable card in my opinion, and it's also very good. So we have one waste. We'll do a waste count out up. This thing Quagmire is pretty good. Pretty good. Two waste. Um, Oath of Jace. No, Oath of Jace. No, I got two foil rares, but not really. Uh, wasteland. <laughs> wasteland, I wish. Um, yeah, you do get a bunch of uh, these waste. So don't mind me when I say <laughs> you don't get any. A foil land, obviously, was very good. I didn't know that you could get those, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Break of Silence, I don't know if that's valuable. Inverter of Truth is a mythic. We got a lot of mythics. Oh, Gideon, I think, is pretty good. Another waste. 